Deja vu guys, so today we're back at Dover. We're headed over into France. We're gonna be going to Lille, uh, which is a part of Northern France right next to Belgium. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is meeting up with the founder of Hockey Community and also Oxillo. Oxillo are a company that manufactures sports goods. They're a strain um, of, of a larger company called Oxilane. We're gonna be meeting up with their division that make ice hockey equipment, um, whose mission ties into hockey communities and also ours quite closely, because what they wanna do is make hockey more accessible by creating high quality equipment, specifically hockey equipment, at customer friendly prices. We're gonna be looking around their facilities, their factories, their testing labs, and getting to play some hockey in France. Let's see what France has in store for us, guys. Hey, 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 no, 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 hey, Bilut, Bilut, so it's hey, Bilut, Stiramisu. What is it? Pizza Nutella in France. How do you say in French? Pizza au Nutella. Pizza au Nutella. Yeah. Bilut. Bilut. So we've just finished at the ice rink that we're playing at this morning with the guys over um, from Oxillo. The ice rink was called Patinoir de Westcal. From there, Flo organised a quite a busy schedule for us to check out the ins and outs of how Oxillo and the umbrella company Decathlon operate and what their mission statement is and how we're, we're quite interlinked and why hockey community, Oxillo and ourselves as hockey tutorial work so well together. Um, so what we did was checked out the Decathlon store, which was the only way I could describe it as a sports mega complex. It had everything from rock climbing equipment, archery equipment, ice hockey equipment, pretty much every recreational sport you can think of they sold the equipment for in these stores. Linked to the store was also Decathlon's HQ, which had their R&D department, their financing department, loads of different areas that gel the company together and, and sort of help the company operate. So it's the sides that the consumer doesn't really tend to see. Uh, we were able to go check out some of these places with Flo, who took us round to check out their R&D department, where we saw some crazy products, some that are on the market, some that weren't on the market. Uh, we've also taken to some places that we weren't really allowed to film, um, but we've obviously done as much filming as we can do to show you guys and share as much of the trip as we can. Some of the cool things that we found, their complex was so big, 
that the employees get around on the products that they manufacture themselves, the bikes and the scooters, which is just insane. You'd be walking through the hallways having people in scooters just like dust past you on their way to, to a meeting or on their way to another R&D department and they also get to use and trial the equipment that they're making. So if somebody has an idea and they want to put it into play, they can create the product and use it themselves to see what it's like. It's, it's just been an insane day and really inspirational to check out what they do. So right now we're at Auxilo, um, specifically in the uh, part of the Auxilo company that manufacture the ice hockey equipment. One of the things that we did at, while we were here was check out the company's mission statement, the direction that the company is going in, and uh, what we can expect to see from them in the future. In terms of the products that Auxilo creates, it's to do with uh, asphalt and ice glide products. So things like roller skates, inline skates, scooters, and also hockey equipment that you can see um, just behind me over there. The company's overall um, mission statement or target is to make sports more accessible. And because of the company that we're in right now, or the section of the company we're in right now, specifically ice hockey, the way they want to do that is through innovation and reducing barriers. Barriers such as the cost of the equipment, all of us can relate to that. But most importantly, they don't want to reduce the quality, but they're finding new ways of being able to reduce the cost, such as innovation. So Auxilla's focus is to make hockey more accessible through addressing the challenges in the equipment. Hockey communities is to make the sport more accessible through connecting players with great technology. And ours is through inspiring the people that watch our videos and also being able to give them tips and educate them on, on different um, things that they need to be able to learn to, to be able to progress in the sport and to be able to become more fluent and confident in the sport. So Exelo's focus is making the sport more accessible through addressing the challenges in the equipment. Hockey communities, as we know, is through linking players through great technology. Ours is through inspiring players and also creating these tutorial videos that we do to give you guys more information and to give you guys some tips on how you can improve your game and become more fluid in the sport. So you can see with all of these different areas that we specialise in, how we can come together and hopefully achieve our overall goal of spreading the joy of hockey, spreading the passion that we all have for the sport and making it more accessible to everyone that wants to reach it. One of the things that Auxilio is working on, which is insane, and if they're able to accomplish this, it's going to be a groundbreaking achievement in the hockey industry, is to be able to create a full set of ice hockey equipment for less than 100 euros. That's going to be a massive thing that we're going to be keeping an eye out for um, if and when they're going to be able to do it. We're, we're pretty focused and we're pretty um, confident they're going to be able to do that with what we've uh, witnessed here today, but it's going to be fun to see um, them being able to do that. Just think about how many uh, barriers that's going to be able to reduce, how many more people are going to be able to play the sport if they can uh, actually managed to kit someone out from top to bottom for 100 euros or less. It's going to be incredible. What we're going to be doing from here is of course enjoying uh, some of the sights and sounds in Lille. I've not been to this part of France before so I'm looking forward to um, checking out the city a bit more, looking around, um, just enjoying what France has to offer and of course checking out some bars as we always do. So you join us on day two of our France stroke Belgium trip. Right now we crossed uh, the, the border from France into Belgium and we met up with um, Chili Pete that you might remember from the Pond Hockey, uh, Indoor Pond Hockey Classics in Antwerp. Um, went for dinner, had some lovely sushi or lunch, being it's uh, lunchtime right now, and uh, we discussed something that's insane. What's going to be happening in December of this year is a hockey tournament on a boat. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. It's something that I don't think has ever been done before. It's a riverboat that we're going to be playing hockey on, so I'm so stoked and can't wait to, to get on this thing and, and start shooting some cool videos and, of course, playing some hockey on a boat on water. It's insane. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is spending a little bit more time in Belgium. We're going to go for some coffee with um, Alex, the founder of Hockey Community, and, of course, our camera operator, Chris Curtis. Going to relax a little bit before we cross the border back from Belgium into France. Uh, we're going to relax a little bit more tonight just uh, see what Lil has to offer, go to a couple more bars and clubs and just enjoy our time on this uh, two-day uh, trip to uh, Europe. So we've just left France on the ferry back to the UK. Before we leave, we want to say a massive thank you to Flo for showing us around Oxillo, looking after us while we've been in France, and also Alex for hosting us once again um, at his uh, lovely place uh, just outside Lille. 
it's been really insightful to get to see uh, behind the scenes of Decathlon and also a little bit more about Oxalo and where the HQ is. And we're really looking forward to working with them in the future as well as with the hockey community.